In this video, we're going to learn how to generate a random boolean value, either true or false, using Python. So if we import the random module, this module includes a function called choice. And if we pass the choice function a list containing true and false, the function is going to randomly return either true or false. We could store the return value into a variable called value, then we could output value with print value. And if we save the program and give it a try, we'll get true, then false, then false, then true. So this solution is nice and readable. We're going to randomly choose either true or false. But there is a more efficient way that we could solve this problem if we use the get ran bits function of the random module. So what we'll do is call random dot get ran bits and we'll pass it one. And get ran bits is going to return a non negative integer with one bit randomly set, which is going to be either zero or one. We'll store that into value. And again, we'll output value. We'll also output the type of value with print and then type and then value. And if we save the program and try it, we'll get zero, then one, then one, then one, then zero. And we can see the type of value is int. So what we could do is convert one or zero to a bool using bool. So here we could pass the return value of calling get ran bits to bool. And if we save this and try it now, we'll get false, then true, then false, then true. And notice how the type is now bool because we're converting the int value either zero or one to a bool value using bool. Now this approach here is more efficient than this approach here. And we could test that. So we'll have a for loop here with four i in range and we'll have here 10 million. So we'll have 10 million here. So this for loop body is going to run 10 million times and we'll generate 10 million random bool values. We'll take out these calls to print so that way our program doesn't output all 10 million values and their type. And first we'll test this method here by calling the choice function. So we'll comment out this method here and we'll uncomment this method here. We'll save this. Then over here, we'll use time and Python three D dot pi to time the program. We'll try this and it's going to take a few seconds. And we get 5.563 seconds. Let's try it again. Again, we'll wait a few seconds. And we get 5.407 seconds. Let's now try the second method using get ran bits. So we'll comment this out. And then we'll uncomment this, save it, and try it. And this time, it's only 2.051 seconds. We'll try it again. And now we get only 1.974 seconds. So while this second method using get ran bits might not be as readable, we're finding it's more than twice as fast. And we can actually improve the performance a little more if instead of calling bool, we instead use the not operator with the return value of calling get ran bits. Not one is going to result in false and not zero is going to result in true. If we save this and try it now, we'll find it takes 1.809 seconds. We'll try it again. And now we're down to 1.406 seconds. We could speed things up a little more if we use from random import get ran bits. Then down here, we'll just have get ran bits instead of random dot get ran bits. If we save this and try it out. Now we're down to 1.39 seconds. And this approach is a little faster because there's one last name lookup. So this is how we can generate random booleans using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.